Read the disclaimer. Hey silly, do you know what time it is? Tournament combo time. Hey, this video is brought to you by Beyblade Premier. Did you know that if you make an order before 1 p.m. EST, they ship your order the same day? Make sure to check out Beyblade Premier. They have deals in bundles with bays and other Beyblade parts, host tournaments and events. And make sure to use code WASH for 10% off your first order. Ayo, uh, do you know recently I did a tournament? I did pretty good. All right, so here's some combos and stuff. Barricade Lucifer. Literally all you need to do is just give it bearing drift. It's really just that optimal just to be going up against opposite spin stuff. We're gonna have our dummy example here with Vanish Achilles on nine, overbearing dash. Now here for this to work effectively, you always have to light launch barricade specifically when you are equalizing. Uh, the reason for this is just I've noticed that it's managed to do a, a teensy bit better uh, when you kind of just weak launch it. I mean, you could hard launch, I don't know, and then I have to just hope to see. I, I don't know. Results are the results, right? Generally, it, it, it should probably do well in this matchup, especially against like Vanish on like BR Dash. Oh god. Alright, I did a few more rounds, so you're probably gonna see the results about uh, here just to see its effectiveness against this uh, Vanish combination. Honestly, it uh, does uh, good enough, good enough to really troll something like Vanish. However, let's try to spice things up and make this combination vanish on illegal bearing drift. So now here is where this is going to be the power of the tilt. Uh, literally just tilting. Yeah, because with BDR, basically what happens here is that they just they just like to keep on seeing likes to tilt more. So usually you should be on top, usually. Like here, I'm gonna give some example rounds now of if we did a little bit more where I probably just uh, try to see a little bit better. Last thing to mention, obviously results can vary at events and testings and IRL, so just please keep that in mind. Next up, we have some fun. So in here, you do have to hard launch barricade. The reason why is because most of your work here is gonna be on the actual uh, barrier. What it's going to be doing is just help kind of equalize against Guilty and try to slow it down a bit with the help of bearing saving it. You can obviously still get KO'd, but it's mostly kind of all right against Guilty. Generally, it's gonna come down to if Bearing Drift wants to help you and the barrier can slow down Guilty enough. Uh, for the most part, this is going to kind of try to kill a lot of Guilty spam, where Guilty is a little bit of a turn-off uh, brain moment for when you use it. With results are not guaranteed, Guilty can easily pummel a barricade and get KOs easy by making it hit the back wall or making it drop to the bottom. So understand that it has a good chance, right? It has a good chance of taking on Guilty, so I would say solid combination overall. Burst Bahamut over Barry Mobius. What is the weakness to this combination? So actually uh, for here, uh, other than let's just say uh, someone just equalizes and somehow manages uh, to get the better on you, it would obviously be same spin stamina that can kill this. That's it, it's dead, it's dead. Again, same spin, it's very clapped. Uh, so really it's just opposite spin stamina and opposite spin attack. Back to Burst Bahamut. So now back to our combination, which is Burst Bahamut on zero over Bearing Mobius. Its weakness would probably just be against attack. If we give an example here against uh, opposite spin attack with Xiphoid, easily KOs it. If we do a bit of a stronger shoot, just for this example, uh, yeah, Burst just dies. And then after for an example against Guilty, done. So never face attack if you're using this in either spin direction. Next up, we're gonna be trying this up against Wind Lucifer 9 Illegal Bearing Drift. So the interesting thing about this combination is that it utilizes basically kind of a weakness to both, which is tilting where Burst likes to fall down a lot and Bearing Mobius likes to tilt because of the cone. I know generally I would say Burst is nice enough on Bearing Drift, but I think Bearing Mobius is honestly my favorite driver to pair up with this. 
simply because it manages to hold itself nice on top against a lot of stuff, which Burst already does and Bearing Mobius already does, but I feel like it excels to a better extent here. So we're going to just show for an example of what's going to happen in the match where you basically just sit on top and you should win, should. Now we're gonna try this again. Now, regardless with the burst blade, you can always just die and fall down. That is very, 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 very likely to happen. It's just a matter of whether or not your bearing decides to fall down. So it is very important just to balance tune it, which just means reassembling the bay blade with the disc uh, differently, uh, just to see if it's a little bit more uh, balanced and everything works together. So probably near the end, you're gonna see more or less uh, the same conclusion that we got to uh, before here, where I basically stand on top and win, maybe. I don't know, do I fall down? Okay, see what I mean on the issues here? Let's try again, same spin, which is Vanish, Illegal Bearing Drift. Next up, we're gonna try it against Vanish, Illegal Bearing Drift, just for an example of an opponent they could go up against. Now, generally, Sometimes bursts can work well enough where it can kind of beat stuff like this, but um, bearing Mobius, uh, not, not, not too well against bearing drift. So this is an example of where same spin, you could probably just die. This is future Zanki here. Yeah, just uh, use the left side, use the left side. I, I thought the right side could work. Then I tried using the right side, did not work. So that being said, as we are ending off, you should subscribe to the channel, bell notifications on, and let me know your thoughts. Look, hopefully if you can make some combos, you can put it in the comments if you want with anything uh, that's from the new Barricade Lucifer that are new parts, let me know. And uh, that's gonna be it for now. I wanna say thank you all for watching. And yeah, these videos are always kind of fun to do. Uh, I should also mention on the other channel, I'll probably have tournament footage up of when I manage to get that stuff to work. And um, yeah, thank you for watching. Wonderful day. Bye.